Trading, the market, academy, the home of sports trading. Hi, I'm Mark, and this video is from the Trading Market Academy, the home of sports trading. This is part of the TTM Academy series where we'll be teaching you how to be a better all-rounded trader using skills to train the emotions and the discipline for you to become a better trader. In this video, we're gonna look at FOMO, the fear of missing out. This has to be one of the most requested videos from TTM. I'm always amazed by the conversations I have over email or in person with people who struggle to deal with FOMO. But to understand why it's difficult for me to get my head around it, I need to explain to you why I have no problem with FOMO and the mindset I have dealing with others' success. Let me start with Facebook. I only use this as it's something I'm pretty sure you all heard of and understand the concept of as a minimum, whether you have it or not. There are many different kinds of people on Facebook, but they all fall into a set amount of categories which all have their own attributes. If you do use Facebook, then you can relate to this. There are people who will post something like, I can't believe what just happened or I'm done with caring. These people are attention seekers. The people who won't post what has actually happened, they just want you to message them. If you write in the comments, you okay, or oh my God, what's happened? This is likely met with an inbox me because they want the attention and by posting it, they remove the need for anyone to message them. This is an example of just one of the types of Facebook people. The other types that we're concerned with are the lip news. Life is perfect, nothing's ever wrong. These people are dangerous, I mean properly dangerous. Not in a way where they will physically harm you, but in a way where they will mentally harm you. To you though, life looks perfect, and by comparison, your life looks like it's run off the tracks. But in actual fact, they only ever share the good parts of their life and don't share the bad bits. They'll only ever tell you their successes and keep their failures to themselves. The reason we discuss this is because this same thing happens in trading. People are more than happy to share their wins and rarely share when they lose. Now when you see someone post a win after win and the profit is something you can dream of, how do you know how many they've lost? How do you know if they're in profit for the day? Truth be told, you don't. I'm a full time trader and make a living from it. Do you think I don't lose money on trades? Do you think I don't make mistakes? Well I do, but I'm successful enough to make an overall profit and have a comfortable living out of it. This is because I have no FOMO. I don't fear missing out on a bit of profit because someone I've seen with a few wins or winning trades has posted the next game he's on. I do my own research when risking my own money. I have a saying, I will not let others pick my losers. If a trade fails, it won't be because I didn't do enough research. It'll be because that's how it goes sometimes. You won't win them all. Just like we don't know how much people are in profit as they only give us the highlights. How could we know how much research they've done? How could we know what emotion they have attached to the outcome? Again, we don't. So all these unknowns, why would you want to put your hard earned money on it? I was talking to a guy who was using data from the English Premier League and trading on the first two games of the season. He was using the last six games of the season from the year before to give him the eight game stats he needed. The team he lost money on was a newly promoted team. He genuinely could not see anything wrong with this. Why would you want to follow this person just because he posted his last five winning trades? Have you seen him post the losing ones? No. Truth be told, the biggest reason for people suffering with FOMO is because they want the profit and want to do it with as little effort as possible. So if they can just blindly copy somebody and take profit, then that is the dream. I can categorically tell you this never works out. What happens if that person you are following one day gives up to retire or drops off the face of the planet? What are you going to do then? You learn nothing and have no ability. Try this. When you see someone sharing trades that they're getting on, look at the data and try and find the reasons why the trades won't work. Looking at the data and what you know, try and find stats that say you won't be the second half goal. Try and break the trade. It's easier to find fault in something than it is to prove it right. If you can't find fault and it looks like a solid second half goal, well done, you've just done your own research. If you can find multiple faults with a the trade, then sit back and watch what happens. You might be wrong, but you lost nothing. And by doing this over and over again, you will find it will become second nature to you. To effectively beat FOMO, you need to remove the feeling that the outcome is going to better your trading position or improve your bank. You need to remove the notion that there is no quick way of making money long term in trading. You get out what you put in. After all that, how can you have the fear of missing out on losing money? Would you trust these people enough to give them part of your bank to trade with? No. Then by following the trades, you're just doing that. You're going to slip up and you're going to get caught up in the moment and you're going to make mistakes. So have a trading checklist. This is mine. Number one. Have I done the research? Number two, do I have the time to trade this event without interruption for in-play trades? And three, do I feel comfortable with losing the amount of money I'm staking? Only if you answer yes to each of these questions, then you should trade. Well done for completing this video, and now time to move on to the next. Thank you for watching, and together we're all trading the market.